Good old Newark, New Jersey traffic. <laughs> anyway, what's a better idea to do when you put a motor in your car? 600 miles on this thing, we're taking a long distance road trip. Look at all them row homes. Anyway, the engine's got 600 miles on it. And we're taking it to Connecticut from Pennsylvania. So, I'll film whatever interesting journeys happen along the way, and you guys can watch that from there. The car's running hot. It's been getting hot. Right now it's running at 230. doesn't like consistent RPMs on the highway. About 3,000 RPMs, it climbs up to like 235, 240, and it, makes the, it triggers the hot light on the dash. So as soon as it gets hot, you have to coast it downhill in neutral, and then it goes back down to 220. Look at all the dead people. What a waste of real estate. <laughs> That's a lot. Holy shit. Cemeteries and golf courses, biggest waste of prime real estate. People are dying to get in. Yeah, apparently people are just dying to get into that cemetery. We're running cool again. Finally, finally we're at normal operating temperature. Can't really see the hood tag. And here comes the traffic. Because that's how it works. People rubberneck, you know that. That building's new. That, that's never been there before. Something happened over here, a big car accident. Here's the Stanford train station. It's downtown. can make a right on red, but this Toyota can't. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is all new. There was a park over here. There, it's still there. Row homes. You couldn't go Parkway. There's a parking lot. Here comes our old shop street. Go slow past the shop. Nobody's behind us. Right here is where the shop used to be. And it's absolutely nothing for the past 12 years. That's it. Absolutely nothing. Sucks. Bolorama used to be right back there, now it's storage units. Awesome. 
I had a dream we were driving up this hill the other day. Did I lose signal calling you? Oh, here comes Stanford High School. Thank God I didn't have to go to this dump. I wanted the right tech instead. I hit the trash cans. Boom. <laughs> Hopefully it blows through here. It's going to be till 7 o'clock tonight. Great. These gas, this thing's getting 13 miles at a gallon on the highway with a three speed. Gas ain't not that pricey out here either. 335. 59 Caddy convertible. The only good looking Cadillac I've ever seen them make. <laughs> the infamous Stanford Motor in. Cheap hookers and garbage cocaine. Right behind the WWF building. They're always doing construction right here. Even if you go on Google Earth and look up this intersection at exit 9 Stanford, they're doing construction in this intersection. Well, they just did a major thing down there. I'm going to go shop again because you wanted to shoot a video again, Marty? Yeah. We don't have to, I don't care. I was say, if you want to go straight, we can, it doesn't matter. Here, here comes the world biggest McDonald's. <laughs> Did they rebuild it? No, it's still there. There it is. The place is huge. <laughs> it's got a downstairs and a giant upstairs. Yeah, think about it. It is a big Oh shit. <laughs> Heading into downtown Stanford. See, the traffic going north is always fucking bad. Traffic going south is oh, always good. Because I used to come home from work that way. I used to come home. Was that, was that a Dairy Queen? Yeah. Was that ever a Dairy Queen? It used to be a Chinese restaurant. Well, before that, that's when it was a Dairy Queen. Oh, was it Dairy Queen? Did it turn Blockbuster into an advanced auto? Or no, discount furniture? Discount furniture. <laughs> that was a Blockbuster it's years ago. It still says Blockbuster. Still we used to go there and rent Nintendo 64 games. They still got the sign up for the signs there. Yeah, they still got the sign for Blockbuster. I call it Ballbuster video. No, Blockbuster. Because if you don't bring it back in time, they break your balls. Please be kind, we want Blockbuster. I got a whole bunch of old tape that we're looking at. Get online. Valvoline! Uh, I even tried uh, Goodwill. You know? Get online or find, a, find some stereo shop around here. Quality gas and towing. It's my dad's friend shop. They still offer full service out here. And it's not like New Jersey where you have to get full service because, you know, people from New Jersey are too stupid to pump their own gas. No, you don't have to have full service out here. They just choose to do it that way. You got some nice wrecked cars here too. You got a Prius making out with a Mini Cooper right here. Oh, that's so hot. Oh, oh, they're getting it on. And this Explorer over here took a nice shot to the face and it completely missed the frame. So just pushed the support back. <laughs> Look at that, completely missed the frame. I'm sorry, you guys got to see this. There's an Explorer across the street with the hood open and a back window blown out of it. <laughs> Unless a cop showed up. 
<laughs> it's got a it's got an old school spare tire on it. Look, look at the old wheel on that thing. It's got dummy tire. <laughs> <laughs> yep, this is Connecticut, folks. <laughs> Even in the nice parts of town. Hey, look, there goes Riley. <laughs> look at Riley and his cruiser. <laughs> So we're over here at LaJoy's Junkyard, where I used to grow up at this junkyard. I used to walk this yard all the time when I was a little kid. And uh, we found Chris's car. Chris, we found your spare parts for your Firebird right here. <laughs> we pulled in the door and like, hey, look, there's Chris's car. And that's, that's what he needs right there. <laughs> I'm wondering, I don't know if this is the green that used to be on Chris's car or not. But anyway. It's got black interior. It's automatic. It's got a three spoke. Four pole, not bad. And then they got a Z28 behind it. And this is a 78 through 81 right here. Firebird's pretty sweet though. It's like 81 by the dash. But anyway, I'm gonna hopefully be able to get in here and walk the yard, even though they don't have old cars here like they used to 20 years ago. Remember we used to come here, they had that 63 Impala Super Sport. It was all rotted out and they had those Impala wagons and a bunch of other cars. You got the emblems off of it. Yeah, hey, Chris, at least be happy your car doesn't look like this. <laughs> look, Chris's front end could look like this. I saw it. This front fender's in nice shape. A little bit of cancer down the bottom. <laughs> the sound of the All right, let's see what we can get into. I told my dad, careful you park the car down here. They might mistake it for a junk car and pick it up with a forklift and haul it into the back. <laughs> Going to the last Dairy Queen in existence. It's now called Dairy King. I say it's the last Dairy Queen in existence. It's the only old school one that hasn't been modernized or corporatized. They dropped out of the Dairy Queen game and they just call it Dairy King. You gotta see this place. Inside is a time capsule. It's in Norwalk, Connecticut. Step back in time, right to the 70s. Look at this place. in here I haven't been here in like 15 years look they got menus you could still read <laughs> here it is out in the front and a payphone This place is probably built in the late 60s. And as you can see, nothing's changed. Check out a little gumball machine, gumball pinball. That's my, look, there's my brother on the machine right there. That's Bozo the Clown. Look, that's you. <laughs> oh, I haven't played Cruising in forever. Look, it's Cruising Exotics. Ooh. Yeah, they had this since we were here. There we are in Norwalk, right out in front of Dairy King. <laughs> there it is. I love coming to this place. I haven't been here in about 15 years. Maybe eh, maybe about 2005, 06, the last time I've been here. It's got the old walk-up window.
Long Island Sound straight out there. Maybe in Connecticut, but this is borderline New York. I wouldn't want to ever in place of the rubber body pushing mounts. Alright, go pop the hood to show the people why this thing keeps running hot on the highway. It doesn't run hot in traffic, it doesn't run hot around town, it only runs hot when you're consistently running at 70 miles an hour on the highway. And once it gets hot, it will not cool down unless you park the car and let it cool down. Well, you can coast it on the highway if you're going downhill and it drops the speed, uh, drop the temperature back down. But it's really The radiator stuff. tanks are way too small. Yeah. I was telling them this radiator might be a little too small, thinking how the one on my Cutlass looks. The one on the Cutlass, the tanks are like that big. These are like this. And the Tornado that this actually came out of, the radiator was... 36 inches long. Plus the tanks added to it. Right. right. It come out to about here. So well, pretty much take up. Yeah. So right now around town, the car is just fine. Even on the highway, it was fine until we hit Jersey. We did fine. All the punks van hit Jersey within two miles. Bam. Shit hit the fan. We left Jersey, and the problem resolved itself. We had no problem in New York, no problem coming to Connecticut. So, uh, but we started getting a problem with it again last night. But when we get home, we got to take this radiator out and put a bigger one in. The one I have in my Cutlass is for a Cadillac 500 engine, and it's huge. So yeah, we just put the motor in, and we decided to take it immediately on a road trip out here. So it's a good way to figure out what the car still needs done to it. Tuning-wise, the car's fine. The carburetor's fine. It runs great, but needs a bigger radiator. It just runs a little too hot on the highway. And it needs an overdrive. 